here as exhibits, but not actually racing at the 24 hours and lots of memorabilia as well. And that's worth a look. A recap of race one. It all began with a bang as Eric Dodonka's Mercedes was uh, turned sideways. And uh, we had also a big spin in the middle of the pack from the uh, number 53 Mercedes. They sorted themselves out and were able to uh, get themselves back out of harm's way and rejoin uh, as the opening stint of the race continued with up front, Leonardo Guarini putting himself ahead of Alexandre Leroy. Philippe Pret was riding shotgun and that damaged Mercedes, the number 53 car of Pascal Gimon limped back to the pits, although it did carry on in the race for as much as was possible. Better hip and shoulders, Thomas Anderson got himself off the inside of the number 88 uh, Mercedes, whereas 87 in the hands of Gilles Van and Jean-Luc Bobelic started to charge along and get itself up into the mix. So ultimately, the car led briefly, but then Jean-Luc Bobelic had a big slide and he got a track limit penalty, uh, and that car fell back through the order. Even going into the gravel didn't really upset Carlo Tamburini as he and Leonardo Guarini came through for a third win of the season. And uh, an excellent effort. More for GT2 tomorrow. For now, though, from Ben Constant, Juris, David Addison at Spa. We'll see you tomorrow morning at five past nine for race two. It's bye for now.